Uh, can you go over the four uh, categories that you had, the main ones, the ones we do probably the most? Because like I said, I saw myself in most of them. Yeah, uh, sure. Happy to. Uh, the fundamental premise is what we think influences what we do. So if you think about different, and this is steeped in 60 years of, of research and cognitive therapy, uh, without getting into all the details, it really is how fundamental, how how basic our thought patterns are driving what we feel and what we do. So accept, accepting that science, then there are styles that I've observed over my clinical career that really get in the way of a successful wellness journey is one is all or none. Um, and this is things are, are great or they're terrible. I'm on a diet or I'm off a diet. It's a, it's a, a good food or it's a bad food. It's viewing, viewing the world and any interaction that you encounter with as all or none, light bulb thinking, black and white thinking, lots of ways to think about that. And, and the problem with that essentially is that the world is not like that. And the most frequent off ramps to the journey are precipitated by these kind of unhelpful thinking styles. They're thinking styles that make you just say the heck with it. You know, one day I've blown it. Really? So anyway, that's the first one, all or none. The other is once makes always. And I hear this frequently. So somebody will have a rough day. They didn't eat as they planned. They didn't work out as they planned. And they'll say things like, um, in, in a non-weight world, people can say things like, well, this is the way it always goes. A watch out for this kind of thinking is when you hear your yourself saying things like never, always, those are signals that that's rarely true. And that you're taking one event and extrapolating that to believe it will always happen and it will never change. The third is negative filtering. And again, this happens both in wellness journeys and in work journeys. I'll take the work journey on the, uh, in the first case here. If, if you get feedback from your supervisor uh, in an annual review or quarterly review that uh, on four criteria, you're knocking out of the park on three, but there's room for, for development and for opportunity and for growth on a fourth. If you're a negative filter, all you think about is that fourth one. And you start to worry about your job and is it secure? And it gets you down into this swirl of negative thinking and not seeing the big picture. So it's really trying to make a mountain out of a molehill, but in an overly negative way. And the fourth, which is less common, but I put it in the book uh, because I've seen it frequently. Um, and also it, it gets across this point that not... The key to this is not just positive thinking, it's realistic thinking. And this style that, that's not helpful is called don't worry, be happy. And these are people who go through life, um, and again, in a variety of different arenas, and just say, oh, it'll get better. Well, how do you think it will get better? I'm not sure it'll get better. Tomorrow will be a better day. And while that uh, initial optimism is helpful, and we're not encouraging people to be overly negative, Plans work better than platitudes. It's important to say, okay, if tomorrow's going to be a better day, how will it be a different day? How will it be a different day? So those are the styles that I've noticed over my 30 years in the field that can get in the way. And, and simple tweaks, a technique that we talk a lot in the book about um, is called a reality check. So when you have these thoughts, ask yourself, um, you can do it from a couple different ways. One is, what would a good friend say to you? Um, and, and we can talk more about that because that's also a good self-compassion technique. But the other is to act those almost, almost as if you're a lawyer. So what are the facts to support that I have no willpower or here I go again, or I'll never be able to be successful? What are the facts to support that? And that kind of reality check can help do a check on that thinking and help you develop more helpful, more realistically, uh, more realistic thoughts.